What is going on guys? It's King Tuds Pro and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, I want to go ahead and show you guys how to create a rainbow effect, uh, apply it to p any picture you want in Photoshop, and this is the result that you will be getting. It looks really cool and you could do it in just under 5 minutes. So let me go ahead and show you guys how to do this right now. Alright, so this works best if you guys have a picture with a black background. So once you have an image open, you want to go ahead and desaturate the image. So go over to image adjustments and then go down to desaturate or shift command U for the shortcut or shift control U if you're on a PC. Go ahead and click that and then this will set the image black and white. Now, once you have done this, you want to go ahead and create a new layer and then it's going to be set to layer one or you can go ahead and rename it to rainbow uh, effect like that and then once you have done that you're gonna go ahead and go over to the blending options here and go down and change it to color so from normal to color let's just say that it was like this what you're gonna go ahead and do is on the swatches palette here if you guys don't have the swatches palette go over to the win go to a window on the top and then go down to swatches and make sure that's checked then find it on the right side and once you have swatches open right uh, next to the swatches here you're gonna have a little down arrow with the some lines going down across it go down and select uh, select Pantone plus color bridge coded and then it's gonna say replace current color swatches with the swatches from Pantone plus color bridge coded click OK we want to replace it and then you're gonna have all of this uh, this is going to bring up a uh, yellow, magenta, and cyan. That's the colors you want to work with. So we're going to go over to the brush tool. And your brush is probably going to be big. So go ahead and make it smaller depending what image you're using and how big you want the uh, effect to be. I want my uh, brush uh, to be this big right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select uh, a cyan this time. And then make sure you're on your rainbow effect layer here and it's set to color and then click once and then it's going to set it to blue and then we can go ahead and select uh, you know you could select magenta or yellow however you want and I'm gonna just go like that and I'm going to select yellow and I don't know maybe I want it to do maybe I want yellow and then pink or magenta in, in other words so uh, you're pretty much done with the effect that's the whole entire effect so uh, this is what you're gonna get here again you could customize however you want you're gonna be on this layer itself so this is what you created. So uh, again, this works best with images that have a black background. So if you guys don't have an uh, image of a black background, uh, just select the, the object and then uh, copy that and then paste it onto a empty uh, document or you can just select the background and delete it. So however uh, you want to do that, I made a video on that. Uh, I'll post a link for that in the description for you guys to check out. So if you guys love this tutorial, then please leave a rating below. That'll be much appreciated. Comment for a suggestion, for a video suggestion that I could do later uh, or next time. And by the way, I bought a new microphone. This is the Audio Technica AT2020. So if it sounds any different from my Blue Yeti, please tell me in the comment section below. I just really want to know if there's an actual difference uh, between the mics. So until then, peace out, and I will see you guys on my next video.